What is the color of the sun? Yes, you heard me. What color is the sun? You guys are probably thinking, what on earth? Is this even a question? Everyone knows that. But I think most of you guys guessed it wrong and the answer will blow your mind. No, not that. I mean this. Watch till the end to know what is the color of the sun and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Remember when you all used to be kids and draw little mountains, river, crows and make the sun yellow or orange? Yeah, those were some good days. I missed that too. Anyway, why did you used to make the sun yellow or orange? Because whenever you ask this question to our teachers in school or parents at home, they used to tell us the sun is yellow or a bit orange. And the answer somehow made us happy. But what is the color of the sun actually? Is it yellow or is it orange? Well, the answer is neither of this. The actual color of sun is white. Yes, I told you, it will blow your mind. Actually, the sun emits light across all visible colors in electromagnetic spectrum. When all these colors come together united in sunlight, the sun appears to be white. It is very common if you have many colors and mix them all, it will result you white in color. Now you may ask, if the sun is white, why do we see it yellow or reddish yellow? especially when the sun is setting or rising. To dig deeper into this, I want to explain you some concepts which will help you to understand the answer. Electromagnetic Spectrum Electromagnetic spectrum is a range of frequencies of electromagnetic radiation and their respective wavelengths. The spectrum covers electromagnetic waves with wavelengths from 1 picometer, which is 1 trillionth of 1 meter, to thousands of kilometers. The sun as a hot object emits enormous electromagnetic radiation which results the electromagnetic waves. Now you can see in the spectrum there is a small part contains visible colors. This radiation what we can see or our human eyes can observe. It starts from red which has the larger wavelength and goes all the way to violet which has the shorter wavelength. You can see as we go from left to right the wavelength gradually increases. Now our earth has an atmosphere around it. It consists of many gases, mostly nitrogen and many tiny dust particles. When the sunlight enters the atmosphere it gets scattered by those dust particles and gas molecules. The smaller the wavelength of the light wave, the larger the scattering for it. This phenomenon is called Rayleigh scattering. As the blue light has shorter wavelength than red and yellow, so blue light waves get scattered more than red and yellow light wave. As a result, red and yellow light slip through the atmosphere with little scattering and comes direct to our eyes. That's why most of the time we see sun as yellow or orange, a mixture of red and yellow. Sometimes on very high altitude due to less amount of dust particle in its atmosphere, the sun there appears to be bright white as you can see in this picture. So actually, if we go to space or outside our Earth's atmosphere, the sun will be seen as white bright star. Pictures taken from space telescopes or space stations had confirmed this fact almost a decade ago, but many people still believe that sun is yellow. Recently, in 2022, an ex-NASA astronaut confirmed that sun is white in reply to a tweet, which made many people crazy. So there you have it, the sun is actually white in color and emits all kind of light waves. But due to Earth's atmosphere, it appears to be yellow or orange in color. So next time when you draw a sun, 
you can actually use yellow or orange because you are not in outer space right but what color should elon use to draw a sun thanks for watching our video if you like it then hit the like button and share with your friends and subscribe for future videos thank you